army back both above and below! With the news of Han Ming's defeat at the hands of Meng Wu, the whole army's morale has soared sky high! That's excellent! Keep it up! Fan the flames of all our soldiers' spirits! At this rate, we can fend them off entirely! Sir! Fight on, men! The coalition is faltering! Yeah! Faster! Take back the staircase! Yeah! We can do this! Keep on the pace! Hey, what are you doing? Keep moving! How did they get there? What the... did strike them from behind. Her plan worked. Her elite unit is one of the greatest in Chu. If she's striking the rear of Qin's army with her best division, then 5,000 soldiers is more than enough to beat them and their soon-to-be broken wall. We have Wu Feng Ming's Wei army standing outside the entrance, ready to charge in at a moment's notice. So if our forces on the inside manage to open the gate from within, the Wei army will burst through immediately. And then... Their national gate will have finally been conquered. <clears throat> Those idiots scared me half to death. But despite their missteps and some shameful behavior, it looks like the greatest achievement will ultimately belong to Chu, just as I planned. Unruly as she can be, I had my doubts about Hua Lin. But including her in this war was in fact the greatest decision I could have made. <laughs> The Chu army! This is bad. They're lending support to the Wei troops on the staircase. Uh, what else can we do? We can no longer contain the enemy. Mobilize the reserves on the other side. Surround Wei and Chu. We'll block them off again. It's no use, sir. Our troops are all mixed in with the enemy forces. Our commands aren't getting through. It's completely out of control. We've got enemies at the gate! Defend it! Immediately! All you can! And don't let any of them through the gate! Uh, hey, boss! <sighs> I won't lie to you. It's pretty bad. General Walin, a report from the scouts. Based on the loud cheering we've heard beyond Hungu Pass, it seems as though our troops' infiltration was successful! You don't say. So it's all over then. <laughs> Bow before me. That goes for Hungu Pass and all of the Coalition. Let all these pigs grovel before the feet of the mighty General Walin! Alright, keep pushing! Drag out those boulders! What is it? What's happening down there? I can't see! The enemy's down at the gate! They've managed to pull out one of the boulders! Ugh. This is horrible. No, oh, no! They've taken at least three out now! What's going on? What are our men on the ground even doing? They're too caught up in the melee with Wei and Chu! They can't even get near the gate! And the archers up top can't just shoot straight down! The gate is now within our sight! Keep it up, men! We're almost there! Oh no! Stop them! Open it. And after all my big talk about the heft of an elder general, please forgive me, your highness. And all my fellow citizens of Qin, for the untimely fall. This can't be! Of Hangu Pass.
We've almost got it open! It's Wang Jian! What are you all waiting for? Hurry up and pull! There's only two of them left! What are you looking at? Did you hear me? They've taken back the gate! Wang Jian's men! They've managed to re-secure the entrance! The gate! It's safe! Oh, they... They did it. We still have a chance. Uh, yes! <laughs> Wang Jian really came through! <laughs> Just them, all right! <laughs> that was a close one, but looks like we're all safe now, boss. Seems so. Us and the whole rest of Chin. <laughs> what great timing. But I wonder, what was General Wang Jian doing out here in the first place? I have no way of knowing exactly what's going on behind that gate. But I know one thing. That is the sound of Qin soldiers cheering. I think I know why. They've gotten their reinforcements in from the right flank. Really? It must be Wang Jian, then. In which case, someone tell me what the hell his opponent Wu Lu Doi is doing right now! As it turned out, Wu Lu Doi was still stationed in the forts he had taken from Huan Yi. He had no choice but to exercise caution. Having just lost 8,000 of his best fighters to Wang Jian's ambush earlier that morning, he continued to scout for Wang Jian's men hidden in the mountains. Was there finally an enemy within his mountainous domain he could not track? Wu Lu Duo shuddered at the very thought. But no matter how hard he and his men searched, there was no one to be found there at all. For Wang Xian and his ambush troops had already left after the morning battle to assist their allies at Hongu Pass, and appeared on the scene just in time to save them in their hour of crisis. No longer would Wu Lu Duo leave the forts, bent on attacking the far side of Hongu Pass. He had lost a psychological war against Wang Jian, who anticipated this very move. General, look! Is that the smoke signal for failure? Bum you! Uh, General... Shut your mouth! <laughs> Sorry, ma'am! My plan is ruined. And it's all the fault of that pig, Han Ming! Walin was indeed correct. The Chu army's defeat in the wake of Hong Ming's death reverberated far and wide throughout the other battlefields, putting the coalition army at a serious disadvantage. Where is General Qing Lord Biao's and Qing She's armies continued their melee, with no decisive moves on either side. Lord Biao is moving to the right. He must be coming after Gong Sun Long's army! Have Gong Sun Long fall back. Give Li Bai 5,000 and have them bolster the right. Yes, sir! Report, General! I have a message from Lei Mu over at headquarters! All Zhao troops! Withdraw forces to headquarters immediately! That is all, sir! They can't be serious! A full retreat? For what reason? <sighs> and I thought this was supposed to be the day we take Hongu Pass. What's going on? Hold on, they are pulling away. The tide of this entire battle is starting to turn! General Meng Wu defeated Han Ming, Chu's biggest commander! Oh, is that really true? So then that's what all that hollering was about. This is great! With the danger of Meng Wu's troops spilling onto this battlefield, the Zhao army withdrew. From what I can tell, the same can be said about all the other battlefields, too. Sheen. With them beaten back like this, things have really started to tilt in our favor. 
I think we can actually win this fight. <laughs> Don't get too ahead of yourself, because this war is far from over. Hmm. Optimistic or not, Hulia Jell's prediction was indeed playing out on the other battlefields as she thought. With the exception of the Yen forces, the coalition army members had withdrawn to their pre-hostilities positions, indicating that Li Mu's strategy to launch an attack on the 15th day had ultimately ended in failure. Above all else, it was the unthinkable defeat of the Chu army that had shockingly twisted every battlefield beyond repair. It was in that moment that each of the coalition army generals realized Conquering Hongu Pass would now be far more difficult than they could have ever imagined. Hongu Pass was on the verge of falling, as a wave of two soldiers suddenly appeared beyond it. But how, Shu army? But General Wang Jian appeared with 10,000 men and annihilated them. Wang Jian did? Yes, and the gates of Hongu Pass have been sealed once more. Also, having lost their means of attack, and with the tide of battle against them, the enemy has temporarily withdrawn! Hmm? What? They've withdrawn? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure I'm hearing what you're saying, that heavily implies that Hangu Pass would have been taken if Wang Jian had not appeared on the scene, correct? Yes, that is exactly right. Hmm. General Wang Jian saved us from the brink of peril. Thankfully, he was able to fulfill his role as a shield. Oh, as a shield, you say? The Qin army has been strategically divided into offense and defense, two clear and separate roles. The Mengwu army that destroyed Chu's forces is the spear, while the Wang Jian army that saved Hangu Pass is the shield. It is these two armies and their designated purposes that hold the key to the Battle of Hangu Pass. We had a great deal riding on their military might. And for the mysterious Wang Jian to have done his duty so thoroughly after the concerns I expressed, honestly, he surpassed our expectations. So it was a gamble to bet on both Meng Wu and Wang Jian, but we won. Well then, what do we stand to gain from this winning gamble? I would say we've gained a great deal. It's clear that the Coalition was counting on winning today's battle. But the Chu Army's defeat and the loss that came as a result created quite the disturbance. The Chu Army now ought to be on the defensive and will soon wear out, while our army has a steady supply of new recruits, including from here in Xianyang. What's more, the Coalition Army has the looming specter of Qi still at its back, so they can't fight an unnecessarily drawn-out war. All of this in mind, we still can't let our guard down, but considering these developments from the enemy's point of view, being able to conquer Hangu Pass would now be extremely difficult for them. Soldiers, they're some incredible people, aren't they? Yeah. 
So Long Chen is doing just fine. Song Zuo needs two days of rest. Chong Yuan can handle his squad in the meantime. Then. Hey! Remember you've got another battle first thing in the morning! So what the hell do you think you're doing getting so drunk? You ought to have a sip too, Lady yeah, Tech! If you can't beat him, join him! Honestly, I swear. Wei Ping, Pei Lang, Tian Yu, Tian Yong, Zhe Gui are fine, apparently. Look at you working so hard, it's so late. Come on, tactician lady, have a drink! No, not yet. I've got to make sure everyone's okay. <sighs> That's fine, but don't overwork yourself. You're looking a little pale lately. Make sure you get some rest yourself. I'm just fine. I'm not the one who's out there fighting and putting their life on the line. So don't worry about me. Aww! Hello, Tiao! You're the best! <laughs> hey, save some for the rest of us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you guys look like you've been partying pretty hard without your captain. And here I brought some of the good stuff from good old Lord Biao himself. Cheers! So how did the War Council go? <sighs> Not bad. Didn't exactly learn anything new. Talked about Wang Jin saving Han Gu Pass. And since General Meng Wu killed Han Ming, it looks like the Qin army has taken the upper hand. Yeah. What did Lord Biao say to you? He said something feels off. What kind of something? I don't know. The coalition couldn't go down that easily. Somehow we're missing something. <clears throat> Truth is, I kind of agree with that feeling. And you? What do you think, Diao? Could this really be the end of the Coalition Army? I think it is the end for them. <gasps> Maybe it does feel a little off, since the Zhao army on this battlefield was fairly lackluster after only one day, while the other sites saw fierce battles. Another angle is that the Coalition Army threw everything they had at us, but even for all of their best efforts, they failed to take us down. <laughs> oh, right! Well said, Hell Out Yow! Let them try whatever they want. We'll beat them. Cheers! As hard as it is to imagine them with another winning strategy, <gasps> someone came to mind. Same for you, right, Shane? A person we completely overlooked. Hmm? What person? Who? We faced him. First we lose Lord Lin Wu, and then General Han Ming. The men I thought would lead the Chu army to victory turned out to be its detriment. And now conquering Hongu Pass will be nearly impossible. This is nothing but complete and utter humiliation to the entire country of Chu! <laughs> Slice the disgraced corpses to ribbons the moment they return to this land! <laughs> Tell me, does this mean I was foolish to be stingy in sending the amount of troops necessary for this battle? What say you, Lian Po? Lian Po, formerly of Zhao's Three Greats, had defected to Chu after his banishment in the wake of Qin's Shenyang Offensive. Even if I had been out there commanding them, to be brutally honest, I think the proud people of Chu would have contributed very little in such a huge war. If you're reluctant to send more troops, look to the Tiger of Chu, General Xiang Yin. Really? And if I were to mobilize Xiang Yin at this moment, do you believe you could rally our army in time to seize us victory? No, I don't. <gasps> Explain. Hmm. Qin has soldiers stationed at all of their castle towns, not sent to join the fray at Hangu Pass, but instead focused on defending their posts. It is actually a clever way to fight. That way they can patch the holes made by the invading coalition forces. At this point, sending reinforcements out to Hangu Pass means asking our soldiers to somehow break through their defenses again. But I'm saying that unless we do, even the people of our own country will consider Chu to be the villain of this war. 
<laughs> There's no need to be concerned. This war is yet to be definitively lost. <clears throat> and besides, you're all missing something crucial here. <gasps> Answer me this. Who is the greatest threat in the Coalition Army? Who is the most dangerous man in the entire Middle Kingdom? Who then? <laughs> Li Mu, of course, your highness. Still considered one of the three greats. And the man who buried Wang Yi, the last of the six great generals, three years ago at Mayan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he has yet to make a single move in this entire war. <sighs> There's no doubt that he's got something sinister up his sleeve once again. Very few of his new allies, much less anyone within his enemy's ranks in chief, had any idea that Yi Wu vanished from the Coalition Army that very night.